Hi, so my name is Elena. Uh, today I'll be explaining two really important endocrine responses to stress. So first we have the SAM access. SAM stands for Sympathetic Adrenal Medullary Access. Um, it's also known as the fight or flight response. So it's really fast and it uh, responds to really um, short term stress. So first we'll start in the brain, specifically in the sympathetic nervous system. So that will signal the adrenal medulla. And the adrenal glands are the structures right on top of your kidneys. The medulla is just this interior cavity. So chromaffin cells are going to be the specific targets. And these will release epinephrine or norepinephrine in the blood. Epinephrine is also known as adrenaline. Um, and this is really important because it increases heart rate and blood pressure. So those are things really crucial if you're running away from a lion. You need to do that. So our second axis is the HPA axis. That stands for the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Again, we'll start in the brain initially, specifically in the hypothalamus. Then we will move on to the anterior pituitary. We'll release a hormone called CRH. That stands for corticotropin releasing hormone. The anterior pituitary is this front facing one. Okay, from there we'll release ACTH. And that stands for adrenal corticotropin hormone. And again, the adrenal cortex is this outer cavity as opposed to the medulla, which was the inner. And from there, we create cortisol. And cortisol is really important in long-term stress response. Um, it'll elevate your blood sugar in your body to more adequate, um, consistent supplies. So again, also very important just for long-term as opposed to short-term. 